for both teams. And for the home team. Here's Steven. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. This is a team that loves to run, and he wants to see them do it. Off the left iron. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. Here's Green. And down it goes, jamming that one home. There in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Hillis, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. Once it's on the way down. Throws it up high, and it's Green with the jam. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion. Of here is with him. On the wing, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. He's covered closely. Number three. A beautiful reverse layup. He has six on five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. And the shot is good. Nice saw. Burnett, guarded by Harris, gets it to go. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Back to Green. Burnett lays it up and banks it in. To go down so far, pretty nice shooting. It's tipped. Fast break, here they come. Moving it up. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. The dish to Harris. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space. Here's Pope. Let's the free fly. Gets the bucket. What a start to this game. The Feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense. Just keep firing. Here's Mobley. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. From three-point land here in the first quarter. Number 30. Turner covering. Number 30. Lays it up and despite of the end. 107 left the first. Here's Collins. Pass to Ketchings. He kicks it to Collins. Good win. Nails from three-point land. Well, these are the kinds of games you love. I mean, two good teams going head-to-head, -head, even matchup. Both sides very competitive on their toes tonight. Here's Mobley. Nice touch on the bank shot. He can finish in the post. That's one thing we know about. Getting all right out of the gates here at around 50%. Six-second difference between shot and game plan. Number 35, and blocked. Now, here's good one. He's guarding closely. And in the case of Nero, why the scoreboard looks like it does very passive defense. But the finish was anything but pass -up. He hammered that down for superb above the rim action. And that one's good. Should continue to attack moving forward, Steve. Pass to Pope. But Trey gets it to go. He has... Number 30. He's guarded by Collins. The pass to Pope. The offensive rebound. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half part. Every time it seems like one team makes a run, there's a response. Yeah, this has been teeter-tottering back and forth like a seesaw. Here's Pope. He has six. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Knight nailed five of them. Number 35, defended by Goodwin. And the shot is good. Eleven's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Goodwin gets a screen from Turner. 
Goodwin kicks to Turner. Uses the cross to finish the way. Now, here's Goodwin. Pass to Stevens. Shoots. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Hawkins shot good. That's like a layup wide open out there. Being one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. The pass to Catchings. Turner up top. To the inside. Doubled by Hawkins. That one goes. Come. Burnett. The finger roll finish at the gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Pass to Hawkins. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Defensively and it's costly. Here's Green using his post moves to get the two points. Put anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot though. Offensive rebound. Hawkins shot good. He's got seven. Point out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. On the wing, Turner. On deep. That's good. And that kind of defense is just... 56 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Burnett drops in the tray. This is great. They have the lead because they rebounded well. And put it on the basket. Hook it. First half. Now, here's Green. Not a lot of room. Here's Hawkins. They get it again. Burnett. And that's good. A nice job in the glass. It was already a very good performance in period number one. Here's Goodwin. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Almost pulled the trigger, but he realized he had a better look for his team. Here's Hawkins. Good. Bottom of the net. Look good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Number three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Ted in a decent group. Dishes to Green. Burnett trains the three-pointer. Good to look to. Number three. And he uses the glass on the way. Well, he certainly isn't the man. The defense got away with a major lapse there. Outside turn with the lead pass. That's good for Harris on the assist by Turner. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Harris. Makes the lead pass. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Outside, Green. Beyond the arc. He's got 11. A under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And it's Harris off the drive. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. I don't know what's happening to their defense. They don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on. Gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Hawkins. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Great tee that time from Green. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Uh, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Here is Mobley. Basket is good. The assist from Hills. Mr. Tash, quite honestly, every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. So up now, their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, giving up these goal to finish when he's in that tight. I'm not sure what happened there. Number three. Connects from three-point range. Down to five on the shot clock. Number 13. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. He has five. Gone nine of ten on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. There's the screen. 
down low. Mobley. Next it is good. The assist from Hurt. And there's the feed to Green. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Green's got 10 points in the quarter. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he can. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is up and in. He's been this quarter. The game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Mobley. And he banks in the layup. That's the third bucket in the row. Green with the block. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I, too. I love it. Their rebound has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. But they recover it. Cissé. Ball's not loose. Number three. Kicks to Collins. A three-pointer no good. Gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Gets a very good look and converts. Seconds left in the third. Here's Pope. 13 points in the game. Number 30. An easy two points on the layup. Second half. And, uh, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Number 35. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Seven for two at the line has been terrific 54 percent on the game somehow ignores the tight d and gets the way got six it takes a lot of skill and agility to lay it in with the defense right on you that's a terrific finish he dishes it to collins knocks down the three ball. here's stevens no good with the layup solid job by them on the glass here tonight plus eight in rebound well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. And Green gets it to go. Has to Pope. The three ball. Offensive rebound. Number three. Goes to the reverse layup and claps it in. Well, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. They'd love to get more of those the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, I, that's why they've got to tighten up their D. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And that one's good. Catching. And he's been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. It's going by Harris. Goes up. Throws down the breakaway jam. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. It's been a hard-fought game, and he just wanted to put some pressure on them. Let's come out swinging. Kevin? Number three. He nails it. And he's out of He's got 21. Because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. There's the dish to Green. Lots of room. And it's off the back rim. No good. Gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor to take the lead. That's the bucket. That's two straight quick three-pointers. Heard pretty cold down the stretch. A 15-footer. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. That's the catch -ins. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And the basket by Harris. Harris. He is. Number three. Turner covering. Good. Well, every once in a while, look at the basket, but defensively, they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. The finger will finish at the bucket. And is really coming through. And that's not something you should get away from. Burnett bangs on the trifecta. Go ahead, basket. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Turner. Money! Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference. 
There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Burnett. Right between the eyes. And now they decide to foul intentional. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. He drops the first one and they put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. That Number three. The three won't fall. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. So nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better.